so there's absolutely no public access to this area of the beachfront we're going today so i think we're going to be there by ourselves <gasps> legit big boy man <gasps> Wow, the day has finally come, Stora Army. I've been looking at this location for easily like five, six, seven years now. Abandoned beachfront in Cyprus, the Turkish side of Cyprus. If you were wondering, we do have this location approved by the Stora safety team. So everything is okay for going in here today. Normally people don't get to go in there, but thanks to our safety team, they have granted us permission. It's crazy that safety team have been able to approve this location, but there's still an element of like a daunting feeling of going through somewhere that's just like, weird looking like i don't really know much of the history to be fair there was some sort of war between the greeks and the turkish in the 70s meaning that everyone fled the area and since then it's been abandoned since the 70s and left to kind of just rot and ruin now today is our job to go and explore it and find out what's going on yeah and like just going through the area it seems quite big quite vast quite a lot of yeah. opportunity so it should be exciting i don't think there's many videos of exploring this location so hopefully we're doing the internet a service by going in there and exploring what you could do is see what happens what have you got to say <laughs> it's a service make it sound so bloody noble <laughs> <laughs> we're doing we're doing the, the whole every, lots of people around the world we're going to know want to know what it's like inside there today you will find out what's your relationship to uncertainty and curiosity how many risks have you taken today the safety team did obviously scope out a completely fair entrance but we just wanted to challenge ourselves to find somewhere a bit bit more low-key you know <laughs> yeah so there's absolutely no public access to this area of the beachfront we're going today so i think we're going to be there by ourselves <sighs> wow it's so eerie proper brutalism stuff here look at that concrete Whew. i cannot believe that, that this is like a you know a place where there was some sort of military conflict and then they've just left it as some kind of weird tourist thing where you can pay to see a place that there was a horrible military conflict. I just find that really strange. Such is life, such is humans. We are in a military conflict zone theme park, essentially. That is what this place is. New Smoky Joes! If you were doubting whether this was had any actual military conflict at any point, check out the bullet holes in that building. Why does anybody still fight over land? It's so weird. Oh my god! Oh my god! I did say the place was falling down. I think Ben's tried. I think he tried to come down the stairs and they just almost. That's, that staircase almost fell down, like, in its entirety. Crazy tall buildings to be abandoned. Oh, that board up there. That thing. Yeah, long trip upstairs. Here we are. This is the roof. It's just sitting there. It's sat there wedged. Saw this from the floor, this death plank. It's one of these concrete ones. Oh, and it's fallen and just wedged itself, yeah. YouTube, when you see one of them, don't walk across it. The ground feels so strange. Got like a layer of like cake on it as well, yeah. especially in here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 
now we're into like the good part. I feel like this is the, the heart of the abandoned beachfront. Do you want to explore maybe the front side? Where? Yeah. What, what is it? Black snake. <gasps> oh oh shit, man! That looks poisonous. Is it dead though? We dismissed the snake. We dismissed the snake. We dismissed the snake. The black Where? thing. The black thing there. Wait. Legit big boy, man. Black. Oh my god. Is it? Careful, yeah. yeah. It looks dead Oh, it's just chilling. <gasps> oh! <gasps> Sick. <laughs> that is fast as well. Did you see it? I just went under there. I've heard so many things like moving in the bushes and wondered what it would be. Feels like snake territory, man. And it is. Did you hear how fast it was? It yeah. Was... Oh, that was a huge snake. That's horrible. It's so scary. Across the snake gully, mate. Whoa, close. Close. Ooh, close. 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 Play that in back, me and Max walking over the exact same spot of the snake. I can't believe like, you spotted that, Sash. That's changed the game now, knowing that there's snakes about. When it slivered off, it was so quick. Yeah, a horribly quick and sort of... It's thick, weren't it? Thick and yeah. sort of muscly yeah. and just like... Ugh. That snake has made me so on edge now. What's kind of weird about this is that ruins are so bad for parkour. They're just so unsafe. They're just so like got rogue nails and rusty bits and rotten bits. It's just so not cool. Yeah, this is one of those places that like, if it's been a victim of being a war zone, then it's pretty much guaranteed there's going to be a lot of unsafe stuff. So no surprise. Really. What's that wall saying? Yeah, but look at this. These buildings are crumbling, man. Something about these like really sketchy kind of savage buildings that really puts me off. I just hate them. Like, yeah. it's so unsafe. That's why you've got to be so safe here. Oh shit. One of the safety guys must have left their uniform here. That's so random. Good to know that they have been here before then. Definitely checked it out. It's quite sick. Why does she keep that? Oh, that is nice. That's really fun. Is that some sort of cash register? No, what is that? Let's go, Lean. Oh, yeah. In the Lovely. Nice. Yeah. Too easy.
Yes. Yes, Toby. Yes, that's the one. It's the chest back. I mean, you actually let yourself think about it. You know what you're doing, Rob. Yeah? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, boy. It's a shame that wall's so bad because the arm jump, you would just, you'd just tear it off, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, that would come straight back on top of you. To try to use that. So there's this little running pre here, and if you overdo it, you fall in the sea, underdo it, not too bad. Okay, one more, one more run up. Yeah, man. Three, two, one. Ooh. Perfect. It's perfect. Oh, the brakes were on. Probably uh, felt worse than it looked. Yeah, you know, it looked, it looked fine. Do you know when it like jars up your legs, like the hips? <laughs> I know that very well. I thought I'd overdone that in the air, you know? I was like flying through the air going, oh crap, here comes the water. Yo. Oh. One more. That was close to our army. I had a little nudgy forward, but this one will be a stick. Surprisingly found ourselves in actually quite a secluded session here. We're so far away from the main tourist bit and the army barracks that there's nobody here to see us. There's all the people at the beach down there, but I think we're actually too far away for getting spotted. Not a great spot though, I've got to be honest, it's so unsafe. They were cat passing that. Nice. Yeah. Yo. 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 Lovely. Sick, Mac. That was so clean. Punch 360 dive roll out.